since we launched Jazeen, we've obviously seen a lot of changes in the design world. I mean, the, the, the biggest background story is, of course, the, the, the financial crash and the recession. So a lot of luxuriant, elaborate design that was popping up a few years ago has disappeared now. And um, I think the really big story in design right now is the way that affordable technology is coming in, transforming the way that designers operate and that things, objects are produced. I mean, the, the, probably the best known example is 3D printing, which is like, there's a genuine revolution going on in this technology that's been around for a while, but suddenly it's become so affordable that anyone can have a 3D printer on their desktop in their office. But coupled with that, there's a few other developments like the, the way that data is taken into a computer in the first place is also transforming really rapidly. The whole design team went down to a company called Sample and Hold in Hackney and we all got 3D scanned. So we all sat on this chair while we were data captured from various angles using digital cameras. And um, this is me, this is my mini me. And that was how this was done. But then they, it showed us a new product, which is like a thousand dollar handheld 3D scanner that allows you to be scanned in you know, like a minute or something like that. Um, so you can scan an entire human being really, really easily. But also there's a lot of um, research going on now into 3D weaving. So for example, Nike came out with a, a new trainer last year, a running shoe called Flyknit, which is woven in one piece by, um, by kind of like robot arms that spin around in space, and manipulate fibers. And just like with um, a, a piece of two-dimensional fabric, you can change the density of the fabric, you can change the performance of the fabric in different places. So it's a pretty revolutionary um, tool for designers. We've been working on a project um, which is to produce a magazine about 3D printing and that the magazine itself is being produced using advanced uh, technological processes. It's being printed on demand. The magazine, as I said, is about 3D printing, so we're looking at some of the applications in different sectors of, that are being transformed through this technology. So obviously design, the ability to print out three-dimensional objects that are consumer ready rather than just prototypes, which is what the technology has been used for until recently. Architecture, people experimenting with printing buildings. Health, you know, the ability to potentially print human, human organs, skin tissues and things like that, as well as things that are already happening like hip replacement joints are now much better to be 3D printed than to be moulded in aluminium because they can be customised. Dentures are made using 3D printing. Uh, and food, which is the next area that people are looking at. Will people be able to print food?